Hey guys, this is Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So, today I'm going to show you guys how to install the Arctic Liquid Freezer 240 liquid cooling unit onto a PC. Now, the Fractal Design Define S I reviewed before does have a spot back here so that you don't need to take your motherboard out in order to install it. But it's pretty easy as it is to install it back here. I'm going to take the board out and show you step by step how to install it. So if I can do it out that way, it'll be easy enough for you guys to do it through the back here. But anyway, let's get into it real quick and uh, let's see what it's all about. Alright guys, before you even begin to install the Arctic Liquid Freezer 240 CPU liquid cooling unit, I do recommend you test the unit before you install it. Mind you, I have not plugged this one in just yet, I have not tested it at all. But I have used other ones in the past that right when you plug it in, there's a leak and you get stuff all over your unit. The funny thing is, <laughs> obviously liquids don't play well with electronics. So what we're going to do right now is just test it real quick, make sure there isn't any leaks or anything. This is not to say this uh, Arctic or anyone else has poor quality. You know, something may have happened during shipping and you want to make sure that your PC doesn't suffer those damages. So first off, we're going to connect this guy into one of the available four pin slots, or I'm sorry, three pin. So right over here, we have one. All right, that's plugged in. Now all we do, turn the system on. You're gonna feel this vibrating a little bit. then you might start feeling it vibrate even more. Then it's just going to calm down a little bit. Now mind you, I'm probably at the post power on self test telling me press F1 when you connect your keyboard or mouse or whatever that message is that doesn't really make sense because well, if you got to press F1, you don't have your keyboard connected. What, little, what good is that going to do? But either way, so right now, well, we can tell right now there isn't any leaks or anything. I'm feeling all of the hoses. They all feel good. No, nothing wet. And again, I do feel motion here. And I keep the piece of plastic on because I don't want to touch that copper plating. You know, the grease on your fingertips is not going to allow for as good cooling as it can be unless you clean it down but either way again you know and I press here not very easy to press these are very strong hoses but anyway I know it works it feels good mind you you know when you're stressing it it's probably gonna be pumping up a little bit more liquid but right now it feels good nothing I can see out of the ordinary so now what I'm going to do is take the motherboard out again with the fractal design Define S, I can plug it in through the back of the unit since there is that little cutout. But just to show people that may not have that cutout on their PC, I'm going to go ahead and do it outside of the computer. 